Hey guys, today we're doing a video on some things that every hiker should know. Whether you're a beginner hiker or an established hiker who's gotten comfortable on the trail like we have, these are some things that you should remember and practice while out on your hike to help keep you safe and help you enjoy your hike as best as you can. The first thing is to make sure you let somebody know where you are going. Whether it's a short trip to the park, a day hike, or backpacking, make sure somebody knows where you're going, what time you'll be there, how long you expect to be there, and a time to check in on you. Even if it's a spontaneous trip, it's super easy just to text somebody the info and go. The second one is to start small and choose the correct trail for your fitness level. Recognize your abilities and the abilities of the people in your group, and then pick a trail that fits everyone's abilities and that you can all complete safely. The third thing is to familiarize yourself with the trail before you go out. Know what the terrain is like, how long the trail is, where possible water sources on the trail are. Knowing what the trail is like before you go out will help you to prepare better. All right, the fourth thing is to cut your toenails. I know that may sound a little funny, but from personal experience, if your toenails are a little too long, the way that your toes move and uh, lay while you're hiking, they can cut into your other toes, which can result in a painful experience. Also, on those constant downhills, your toes can push into the front of your shoe's toe box and cause your toes to feel bruised. So not having short enough toenails when you're out on the trail can actually result in a pretty painful experience. So make sure you just trim those down before you go out. Fifth thing is to prepare for lack of cellular coverage. Don't rely heavily on your cell phone because where you're at may not have good reception or reliable cellular service. Consider bringing a personal locator beacon if you need to call for help. If you are gonna use your cell phone, make sure to keep the battery fully charged. You can actually get a solar power or battery operated charger off of Amazon at a reasonable price. Searching for cellular coverage can actually drain your phone's battery pretty quickly, so, may so maybe consider turning your phone off or on to airplane mode until you need it. Hey guys, just a quick reminder, if you like this video, please make sure to actually click that like button. It really does help support our channel. Another awesome way to support our channel is by clicking this really cool button that YouTube has provided for us. It's called the thanks button, and it's a way to support our channel monetarily if you wish. Thank you guys for all of your support. Let's get back to it. All right, the sixth thing is to respect the trail. There's actually four aspects to this. The first point is leave no trace. That means do not litter. Pack out everything that you pack in, and this includes your biodegradable items like fruit pills. The second is do not leave the trail. Leaving the trail could actually harm the sustainability of the trail and hurt the ecosystem and habitat around you. The third is don't take anything from nature. Don't disturb nature. Leave the animals where they are um, and don't take anything from the trail or around the trail. Taking things that naturally occur can hurt the habitat and the ecosystem. Take nothing but memories and pictures. And the fourth is to be considerate of other hikers. Most people go out to nature to enjoy nature and its peacefulness. And when you hear all the loud talking or playing of music, that can actually disturb it. So I like to think of it as a library. Also being considerate includes moving to the side of the trail, not stopping in the middle of it, and letting other hikers that are faster than you go around you. All right, the seventh thing is to be aware of local wildlife. Like I mentioned, leave the animals alone and don't feed them. Store your food in the proper containers, resealable bags, or a bear container if need be. Also, if there are bears in the area, make sure to bring some bear spray. Um, also be aware of insects and ticks. Repellent, netting, long sleeve shirts, long sleeve pants are the best ways to protect yourself from insect bites. Also make sure to check your clothing and your body for ticks during and after your hike. The eighth thing is to check the weather before going out. You also need to know how to properly respond to a storm if it does occur. You wanna check the sky throughout your hike to look for changing weather patterns. And if a storm does occur, make sure to turn back if you can. Avoid panicking because panicking can lead to accidents and careless mistakes. Also, don't run because that could lead to injury from tripping or falling. If there's lightning, make sure to avoid tall, solitary trees, water, and shallow caves or overhangs. 
The best place to be in this scenario is within a group of trees that are around the same height in a low-lying area. The ninth thing is to be mindful of everything around you and where you're at. When hiking, it can be super easy to focus on your feet, to make sure you're not gonna trip or fall. And although that's good, you need to look around you and be aware of everything that's around you. That means using all of your senses. Listen, look, smell, be alert. Not only is it safe for you to be mindful of everything around you, it also helps you to enjoy your hike better. When you're aware of the nature around you, you're, you're more susceptible to take it all in and enjoy that experience and that peace and that beauty. All right, the final thing, number 10, preparation is key. You need to be prepared when you go out on your hike. That means taking things like extra layers, a water purification system, a headlamp. We've actually made a video of 14 essentials you need to take hiking with you, and we'll link that video somewhere up here. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed that video, and we hope that it helps you enjoy nature in a safe way. Thank you for watching. We look forward to seeing you on our next adventure.